Uh, next up, we have somebody who around here certainly doesn't need any uh, introduction. Uh, we are lucky to have with us the uh, president of uh, Portland Psychedelic Society, uh, Keith, uh, Keith Gilmore is a writer, speaker, and coach. Uh, he writes and speaks on matters of culture, ethics, psychology, uh, spirituality, philosophy, and psychedelics. He is president of PPS, a 501c3 nonprofit in service of psychedelic education and community building. Uh, Keith, welcome to the, the stage. <laughs> Hi, friends. All right. So I am not going to speak on the political situation that we find ourselves in. I want to speak to the existential situation that we find ourselves in, because I believe it underlies all of the maladies that humanity is facing. We do not have time anymore. We do not have time to keep dallying around playing politics when people's lives are being destroyed when the the polit political decisions that are being made are at the expense of human flourishing we don't have time anymore the world is on fire with sorrow the earth and her people are crying out we don't have time anymore so to be faced with the situation we find ourselves in of making the stride forward and having it pulled out from underneath our feet without giving it due time to see how it transpires, it is inhumane. And what I want to speak to is how the drug crisis that the state and the country is facing and the homelessness crisis that the state and the country and the world is facing. These are direct symptoms of the greater spiritual and existential crisis that humanity is facing. These are symptoms of the spiritual crisis. Our people are literally dying due to anemic leadership and myopic vision. It has to stop. And to be clear, I'm not, I, I don't blame anyone. I'm not here to blame anyone. Blame is, you know, we're all swimming in the same sea of culture that has collected the detritus of history and these cultural systems have their own momentum. We're all in it. And to be the doctor in the cancer ward, pointing their finger at someone and saying, well, you were eating Doritos and Oreos every night, so deal with it. It's not the proper stance. We have to have humility and compassion, even with people who don't know what they're talking about. Like this guy, the whoever that Anthony put up, the Senate Republican majority leader, who I read the little quote on his statement that said, I am proud to be on the right side of history. Are you sure? Are you taking your medicine? It is legal in this state to take mushrooms under the Measure 109 framework. Are you taking your medicine? Are you sure? So <laughs> at the same time as I don't think blame is the appropriate stance, we also can't use that as an excuse to not take our utmost effort to transform the situation that we're in. To say that psychedelics and methamphetamine and heroin and fentanyl are the same is preposterous. There is scientific evidence research from the 1950s showing the efficacy of psychedelics for anti-addictive properties. This is well beyond established. It's well beyond established. So on the one hand, we're saying, okay, we need to 
outlaw drugs because look at how much of a crisis this is. This is an emergency that we're facing. And on the other hand, we're saying th these category of substances that are the best tool we have to fight addiction, to ameliorate the causes that lead to addiction, these are the same and they have to be outlawed too. It, the, it does not add up. And, you know, anyone who has tapped into the mystery of psychedelics understand their potential for addressing all manner of cultural, personal, psychological, physiological maladies. We don't even know. We don't even know. So we're being led by people who have not tapped into the mystery of the psychedelics. And again, I don't blame them. I think, I, and I don't think anyone should have to turn to this particular modality of understanding without being called, but can we afford to be electing leadership who don't have this important context of what it is to be a human being? And I think the importance of this context fundamentally is that the psychedelic experience shows us the reality that we are all brothers and sisters, the reality and that any one person at all who is living on the street in a drug adult state is a tragedy. Any one child who is dying of an overdose is beyond a tragedy. And the so to, to punish people who are suffering from the sickness that our culture has imposed is preposterous. And I think that us as psychedelic people, you know, I'm kind of preaching to the choir here, but the choir's duty is to sing. That's what the choir does. So let's sing loudly because we do not have time anymore. So thank you.